Hello, welcome to the video. I'm G5STU and today I'm going to show you RM Noise, an AI based noise removal tool that you can use with your radio and it will remove all of the noise and QRM. So if you've got, let's say, a Yesu, you've got a DNR button, that is pretty good. Don't get me wrong, it's already good. This is a whole different ball game and anybody can use it with any radio. So let's jump straight into it. If you're using Station Master, uh, Station Master Desktop, you've now got a launcher button here uh, that says RM Noise AI Noise Removal. So you can fire it up from here. If you've not got it installed already, it will prompt you to install it and then it will uh, it will launch. So if you've already got your radio plugged into your computer because uh, with a USB cable because you've got I don't know WSJTX or whatever connected up then straight away uh, this should pick it up. The easiest way to do this is go down to your sound card and set go to sound settings and set your default input device as your radio so USB audio codec this is the simplest way to get it up and running so do that and then your radio becomes your default microphone effectively once you've done that we can minimize uh, station master and just focus on this tool uh, what I'm going to do is unmute it and then I will push this lever up and the higher up that I go, the more noise reduction there will be. So this is all this software. This is not DNR on the radio. DNR is turned completely off at the moment. So here we go. So there we go. That's turned off. Off. On. Off. Off. On. And you are five nine zero one nine five nine zero one nine. Okay, zero nine. And just to compare it to the radio DNR. Good evening. Good evening. That's just radio audio with DNR. So that's DNR level about ten on my one oh one FT one oh one D. And now back to the AI. Five nine, five nine, three, five, seven, three, five, seven. Okay, so there we go. If that doesn't prove to you that this AI-based software is as good as, if not better, than the DNR on a top-end FTDX101D, then I don't know what will. This is absolutely fantastic. This is a game-changer. It comes with various different filters. You, there's one for CW and voice, and you can even upload recordings from your own station. You might have local QRM that's specific to you. You can do a recording of uh, like half an hour, upload load it to the server and it will retrain this AI model on your data which will make it even better for you so uh, if you don't have success with it it's not the software it's the user you need to train it but by default uh, there's a lot of people already submitting recordings to the system which in turn is being fed into it and it's becoming even better much like chat GTP you know as more people use it the smarter it gets basically and it's the same for this now the guy that built it is called Randy I'm not sure what his call sign is I've sent him an email with a load of questions about this things that I wanted to know uh, how long will it be free what's the capacity of the system how many current users has he got at the moment uh, what's his plans for long-term rollout if anything and you know where's he going with it basically uh, how long will it be free because if thousands of people start using this um, I'm assuming he's not want to. He won't want to run the servers. <laughs> the servers will end up being bigger and bigger and more expensive. Trust me, I know from Station Master. So I can't imagine it staying free forever. But it'll be interesting to see where he goes with it. But it definitely works. You should definitely give it a go. And it really is. It's not snake oil. It really isn't. This is an absolute game changer. So anybody with an old rig that doesn't even have any DNR, uh, this is definitely for you or anybody that's just got a high noise level at home now you do need to be you, you do need a signal to be able for this to work it's not going to perform miracles it's not going to pull a signal out of the noise if you can't even hear it anyway without this running it, it kind of needs something to work with uh, but 
when it does work or when you are receiving a signal and you apply this it really does make it an armchair copy and as you've seen there uh, it's actually a it's a cleaner it spits out a cleaner voice than a, than the DNR on the on the radio when you have the DNR running it does affect the voice a little bit it comes a bit robotic this software it's, it's, it feels a bit better to me so uh, yeah well there we go well how does it work uh, you download the software from the website or you can download it via Station Master. You email the guy uh, to get access. The information's on his website. And what you do is you feed your audio into your computer, which already happens for most people anyway. Uh, this software, you just run this software, you log into it. You only need to do that once. Once you're in, it stays logged in. What happens is it sends your audio up to the internet, it gets processed and it comes back down again. So there is a round trip there involved, a bit of latency. I think it's about 200 milliseconds. So there we go, let's, uh, let's bring up the guy's website. Okay, so let me just show you how to actually get this software. If you're using Station Master Desktop, you can install it via the link in the software that I showed you. But if you're using something else, then just type RM noise. Uh, into Google now RM as a name is interesting because in the Linux world RM means remove so RM noise literally means remove noise to any programmer um, and his name's also Randy I'm not sure what his surname is maybe it's an M as well but there we go let's jump straight into it so go to the home page and you've got this new client here look new client so go there and then you've got the download link here. Make sure you get that version, the older version won't work and you'll need to download this anyway. So download this, run the installer and you'll get a desktop icon that looks like this. There we go. And then you run that, this black window pops up, you can minimize that and this is all you really care about. So in order to get access to the servers, to get your login, you will need to email him and his email is here so just email him and say hi can I have access to RM noise please put your email address and your call sign in the email and he will reply with your username and password you will need that the first time you run the program in order to log in so there we go hopefully that's a good demo of how the system works and how to get set up um, I've, I've emailed uh, Randy and asked him lots of questions when he comes back with those answers I'll put a post up on the community tab or make another video but uh, I, I'm going to use it for a week or two see how I get on I know there's a few other people out there in the community already trying it there's a few people I know that are already using it 2e1 TAP Andy uh, he's the one that put me onto this about a week or so ago he, we were chatting on uh, messenger about it and he said give this a go and I was like okay yeah whatever <laughs> and I didn't and then he started using it and uh, he, he sort of gave me a demo and then I thought okay this is actually quite good so uh, I've picked it up from there I, I see um, Kurt ON7OFF another youtuber he was doing a live stream uh, giving it a go as well the other day so uh, yeah this is just my take on it and a quick uh, tour of how to get up and running it's going to be interesting to see where this technology goes because in the future then we, we would expect this to just be built into the radio you know the next generation of, of uh, FTDX 101s um, if you would expect them to have this already built in so you wouldn't need to go to the internet and back down again it would just have a model pre-trained model already baked into the radio so it would work standalone so the dependency on the internet is a bit of a bit of a pain but let's be honest most of us sat in our shacks are on the internet anyway with our logging programs and QRZ so it's not a big deal and most people suffer the most QRM when at home anyway, so it, it's, no, uh, it's no big deal to be using the internet and your PC in order to remove the noise. So there we go, give it a go. Uh, let me know in the comments how you get on. It'd be interesting to know if it works for you as well. All the best for now, 73.